Harris Taylor, and I am an entrepreneur. I own several businesses, Drastic Results Training Solutions. I also own Network in Action in Houston, Texas. And I also own uh, a Legal Shield business. I am a Legal Shield associate where I protect families, businesses, and identities. I have the privilege of doing a Faith on Faith Extra, and I'm super excited about that. My friend and client, Ricky Smith, asked me to give a word of encouragement to those of you who are entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs, and so I'm gonna do my best to do just that. I will just tell you now, I am a one-take kind of girl, so if I make a mistake, I'm just gonna keep it rolling. All right? <laughs> So who am I and why am I qualified to speak to you? I am a sales and marketing coach. I teach people how to get known, get connected, and get paid. I am all about connecting people. I touch, move, and inspire them to be better than they were before they met me. And then I'm a resource and a connector, and I just love helping people to build deeper relationships that will change their life and their business. So that's what I'm all about. And then I also am all about training and coaching and helping people to get out of their comfort zone, take drastic steps so that they can be um, successful. Now, I wasn't always drastic. Um, and I wasn't always successful and sometimes I'm still feel like, oh, what's going on here? In fact, I have a story I want to share with you. So Ricky asked me to share with you a particular journey and what I learned from that. And it actually happened recently. So there's a couple of bits and nuggets. I'm going to tell you a story and there's a couple of nuggets that I want you to hear. So... Uh, I recently purchased the Network in Action franchise in Northeast Houston. And that came about because I went to a women's retreat and there was a woman there who was from Houston. The retreat was in Fort Worth, a suburb of Fort Worth. We had to go all the way to Fort Worth to meet somebody who lived not too far from me. Um, and she was a network in action franchise owner. And she said, I think you'll be perfect as a franchise owner. I'm going to introduce you. And so she said, I'm going to follow up with you when we get back to Houston. Now I'm the queen of follow up. In fact, that's one of the things, one of the lessons you got to follow up. And usually when I meet someone very interesting, I book an appointment with them right then and there. But for some reason, I didn't. And that's unusual. Well, I came back and in June, um, honestly, I'm gonna be straight up with you. My husband was saying, you need to get a job. That entrepreneurial spouse favorite <laughs> song, you need to get a job. And I was like, I don't want a job. I'm an entrepreneur, I don't wanna to, to uh, sell out and um, we just need a few more minutes to make some things happen because I changed my business model at the beginning of the year. And so, I, but to make him happy, I started interviewing for the perfect jobs. They had my name written all over them. I knew, had relationships with the people who were doing the hiring for both of the jobs. And for sure, I thought I was a shoe in for both of them. Anyway, I went and talked to my life coach and I told her that I was lamenting this get a job thing. And she asked me, what is your why? You know, Simon Sinek, what's your why? And I said, well, you know, I told her what my why was. And she said, oh, you've already accomplished that. You need a new why because maybe you're not as motivated because you don't have a clear why. And that's when I went back and I really thought about it. She said, pretend you don't have a business and just what would really make you happy? And that's when I came up with the Touch Movement Inspire and Connect People. So when I told her that, she said, um, she said, how would you do that? I said, well, I think I would need to start my own networking group. 
forgetting about the conversation I had back in April. She said, well, why don't you? I said, oh no, too much money, time, energy. I would need technology. I don't think that I can do that. She said, well, I believe that your why is who you are and I think you should do it. And I said, I'll think about it. A week later, the lady that I met in April called me and said, I hadn't forgotten about you. I just wanted to follow up with you and see if you're still interested in a conversation about network in action. And the rest, as they say, is history. So here's the lessons learned entrepreneurial wise. Number one, show up. I invested $100 plus time and gas to drive to Fort Worth to go to this retreat where I knew nobody but one person that invited me. So show up, that's lesson number one. Number two, when things don't look the way you think they look, just wanna look, just wait a minute. Things will change very quickly. So number three is know your why. And somehow I believe that when I articulated my why and God heard it, he sent the right people at the right time. There's no other reason for her to have called me from April to July. And she's super busy too. So trust and believe that what your mission is, you will figure it out. Remember those jobs I told you I interviewed for? They evaporated pretty much. They weren't, they didn't happen. And I'm grateful for that. So stay the course is the lesson there. And keep taking drastic steps. So I just wanna encourage you, no matter what, if you have fear around your business and getting started or staying in business, feel the fear and move forward anyway. Find a coach. That's another lesson in that story. I have a coach, I am a coach, I, I'm Ricky's coach. Um, but coaches need coaches because we have blinders on about our own business. So get you a coach. And then just have that support system. Someone is there that can encourage you and keep you motivated and keep you going when times get hard. I want to give a shout out to my girl, Ricky Smith, and Faith on Friday. I'm so proud of the progress she has made in her business how she has been consistent with her faith on Friday, how she has uh, promoted other people um, using the Faith on Friday platform. And now she has a book and she's starting to speak more. I couldn't be more proud of her and the Faith on Friday movement. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Tony Harris Taylor saying, take a drastic step today for a fantastic tomorrow. How do you see?